you ever wondered what uh, rear end code that you have in your car or truck, uh, specifically on GM? Go to your glove box, uh, you know, push two tabs in, fold it down, it's just easier to look. And you're looking for codes that start with a G, F, or an H. So on this one there is two codes. There is a G80 right there. And then you go over here, there is a GU5 right there. Well, uh, mine is a GU5. And um, most, actually all the codes, it's going to be two letters and a number. So if you see one that's like one letter and two numbers, that's not it. If you see one that's all just three letters, uh, that's not it. So once you find all those codes, write them down, you know, kind of start searching, uh, researching what they mean. But um, so the GU codes, it goes from GU1 all the way up through GU9 and I believe that's for like 99 to uh, 07 classic or even farther up Silverados so uh, a GU1 is a 241 ratio a GU2 is a 273 a GU3 is a 293 a GU4 is a 308 a GU5 is a 323 a GU6 is a 342 a GU7 is a 277, a GU8 is a 390, and a GU9 is a 391. So, uh, my axle ratio is a 323, which is just meant for uh, gas mileage and highway driving, just to keep the RPMs down. But that is actually one of the gear ratios for a F-body Camaro or Firebird. Um, well, obviously with that car, it's a lot lighter, uh, more power, so it doesn't really affect the acceleration on those. And that's also how it has such a high top speed. Well, this one, um, it's pretty common for somebody to do a uh, GU5 to a GU6 swap just to get a little bit more of acceleration out of their truck while also keeping the RPM lower for highway driving. But, um, you know, if you want just straight up acceleration, uh, you know, 373, 355, 390 would be a good choice by still maintaining somewhat uh, lower cruising speeds at higher speeds. And, um, so yeah, so other codes like GT, uh, GV, stuff like that, I'm, I'm that I haven't really looked at too many other vehicles to see, but, um, I do, at some point, I think I am going to swap out my, uh, 323 for at least a 342 or 355. And um, the 277 was another option for the F-Body Camaro or Firebird also. And uh, the tuner I have only limits my top speed to 140, but I already know if I, the gear ratio I have now, if I actually start adding some serious power to this, it should uh, be just as... Uh, high top speed as a Camaro or Firebird, at least 160-ish, but I would need a lot of road to get up to there. So, um, so yeah, that's how you check your uh, rear diff code. So if you need a new one or if you want to go to the junkyard and, uh, you know, get another option for you, that's how you find out. So uh, thank you for watching. You know, comment, like, subscribe. Stay tuned for um, the future videos. Hopefully in the next couple weeks I do want to get to the uh, drag strip to test the difference between an 87 tune and 93 tune. Uh, I also want to test to see if cooler temperatures at night actually makes a difference. So we'll see you next time.